15. All right. All righty. I hope you've been practicing your chaining. Um, I got a little bit of a chain here, and I'm going to show you how to a single crochet. And it will be, you must uh, skip your first chain, because this is your first chain right here. Okay, you don't want to go back through that because you will drop your your stitch here and you need this loop. So, so what you want to do is skip this first one and go into the next one from the chain. For single crochet, you only need to skip one. There. And you have to get through both loops. See? Got, uh, both loops here, one loop and the other loop. And you can single crochet. And again, you want both loops on your hook here. And then you grab your string and pull through. There. See? And we'll go all the way to the end here. So now you have something new to practice. Okay, this would be your front loop. If a pattern talks about loops, this would be your front loop. And this would be, right here, is your back loop. But you want to go through both of them. I usually just do front loops on most of my projects when I start out. Um, it's just something I do. I find it easier. Some pro projects don't want you to do that. In other projects, it doesn't matter. It depends. It depends. So let's get all the way to the end here. Come on up. And if you crochet them kind of tight, it's going to take you a little bit to get your hook through. So, oops. And that's not that's not unusual. So no big deal. Depends on your tension and how uh, tense you are or, or upset or happy you are. The more relaxed you are, the better it's going to be. And I got a knot in this. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. I don't anymore. Okay, I'm going to try to get these done every Tuesday. I'm going to try to do a different project, um, lesson, so you can learn. I'm going to try to do this every Tuesday. Try. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um, like most of you know, I have, a, I have a daughter, so she can be a bit of a handful. But well, she's a sweetheart, so. And she goes to school in the morning. So it gives me a little bit of time to work on videos and other projects. Well, I'm just not getting it in the either side there. Did <laughs> oh. you all be like, you are a rookie or what? <laughs> no, I've actually been crocheting for a very long time. Um, it's close to 30 years. I learned when I was like 13. I was taught at school. Alrighty. Okay, and then you, for your next row, you're going to want to chain one and turn the work. So you can work on, work on it like this. Alrighty. So now you can just, woo. Do it again. I think this would be a good time to show you how to um, increase in a little while. I'll show you how to increase and decrease while I'm doing this because the the um, tutorial I'm going to do tomorrow has increasing and decreasing in it. 
that way you'll know how to do it if you want to you want to do it because it is it's basically single crochet so I'm using a smaller hook though but it's basically the same and I still have a knot in this string my goodness alrighty that's what I get for leaving it out on my desk all right now that you have two rows of single crochet let's say you would like to add a stitch to this okay you gotta but you gotta chain one and turn the work again okay let's say you want to add okay which would mean you want to add more stitches to this other than what is here you would go this is how I increase I would just double a stitch see crochet and then go in the same same loop there and do it again and then here that's your that's your increase and then you just go normal like la 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 according to the plan pattern okay that's how you increase to decrease this is how I decrease I go in one here okay because you can see that now I go into the next one and then you have three loops and then you just go all the way through that is how I decrease again this is how you decrease you just take your hook through one bring up a loop go through the next stitch and bring up a loop now you'll have three loops on there and you go through all three of them and that will give you your your decrease on stitches so now I have less stitches on here than I had before. That is how you you were to decrease. And again, increasing is doing a stitch in a thing like that. Doing two stitches in one one stitch, which would make your would it be increasing. Kind of simple. Alrighty then, I think that's about it. Um if you need me for more information, don't be afraid to ask. Um, if you like watching my videos, please hit hit the uh, hit like and um, uh, share. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I, I leave comments. I love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll probably be seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye.